Well, it's a really nice outfit. <laughs> no, I mean, not just because I can see your bias, <laughs> but I mean, like, it looks really good with this. So. <laughs> what? You're nervous. No. I feel like I'm a little nervous. Just like a little bit. Because it's kind of like she's into. With me. She's always nervous around me. So with me. Shut up. <laughs> It's kind of like introducing <laughs> a new boyfriend to your kids. I feel like you guys are my babies and I'm introducing like you guys to your new stepdad. <laughs> don't worry, you don't have to call me dad. Really. Me daddy. <laughs> Zaddy. Well, we'll work our way there eventually, but you don't have to now. <laughs> no comment. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have Rooney here with me. It's a sit down, we're gonna chat. I have got sparkling water here. Actually it's tonic water. There's no gin in it. Um, <laughs> grab yourself a drink, come chill with us. We're gonna do our Q&A. We'll tell you guys how we met and all that kind of stuff. And we're gonna play a little game before we answer your questions. Let's just do a little opener, get to know each other, yeah? Up or down? Up. Black or white? Black. Uh, yeah. I even didn't even think about my answer. <laughs> <laughs> Big or small? Big. <clears throat> uh, Important. Apples or oranges? Hmm, apples. Summer or winter? Hmm, winter. The hip hop or R&B? I don't even know the difference. <laughs> hip hop is like what you like, trap music and hmm. and, and Migos and all that. Tattoos or piercings? Piercings. Oh, but I have tattoos. And so do you. He has a tattoo Ugh, right there. Well, I mean, it depends on where. Straight or curly? Curly. Favorite Mexican. cuisine? Mexican, I think. That will change when he tries more Caribbean food. I haven't food. really tried that much Caribbean food. That's why. Gonna change. Um, he really likes curry. Oh. oh my god, and he loves Scotch bonnet peppers. That's another weird thing that I. <laughs> he eats them like. I swear to God, the boy must have been black and Caribbean or African in another life because he just eats a Scotch bonnet pepper. Meanwhile, I don't like spice at all. Like. No, my throat is not burning for food, no. <laughs> Did you know that actually, the reaction that you have to pepper in mm. general is an allergic reaction? The reason why you flare up is actually your body's response to, um, oh, yeah. to protect itself. Yeah. Yeah. It's because Did you know it, that? It releases opioids to reduce the pain levels that you are experiencing and at the same time, you can actually get high from eating spicy food because your body produces dopamine, which makes you feel good. We are educational <laughs> as well, see? <laughs> anyway guys, let's go answer some of your questions now. We have a lot of questions. You guys asked like a hundred questions um, and we're gonna answer as many as we can. <laughs> Question number one! <laughs> right. How did you introduce him to your YouTube world and how did he react? Okay, so... Rooney's known about YouTube since like the day he met me. I, I don't stop talking about it. It's something that I love doing. So um, naturally it came up and he was like, oh wow, that's quite interesting. And yeah, it wasn't that much of a big deal to be honest. Um, I think the first time I said that I was gonna film him, he was kind of like, yeah, cool. Like he's pretty chilled, really easy going. Mm. So it wasn't like a big deal. Yeah, he sometimes kind of just sits there and goes, I don't know what to say to them though. <laughs> And I'm like, just be yourself, just chat, they'll love you, you're cool beans. Kind of like how I met his parents, I don't know what to say, <laughs> just be yourself. Yeah. I didn't really have anything that was holding me back from just going with it when she first asked me to make a guest appearance. <laughs> how long have you guys been together? Love, 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 love you guys, by the way. Thank you. Um. So, we've been together for, what? Two two months now? Two months, yeah. Yeah, two months, but we started dating in end of August. 
and we've been friends since 2016. It's not like we've, you know, just kind of randomly appeared together and it's like, oh yeah, let's, let's yeah, we were friends first. <laughs> what about the other caught your attention? And I'm trying to figure out who took this picture. We wow. took the picture. I took the picture. Hmm. On my phone. You guys saw me playing with my phone? Yeah, I was taking the picture. She used some kind of Obia magic or something. Obia? Like Obia magic <laughs> to take the picture or something. I have no idea how. Um, what about the other caught your attention? Well, she was really hot. It's really hot. Okay. <laughs> I mean, so yeah, that was that honestly caught my attention initially, but then I actually started having a conversation with her and I noticed that she had a very silly sense of humor, which I do as well, and this what is very important to me in another person that I want to date because <laughs> I like someone that isn't very serious, doesn't take them too seriously and can actually just play along with my stupid jokes and such. And so that's what caught my initial attention. What caught my attention with Rooney? Look at him. <laughs> Do I have to say anymore? <laughs> um, yeah. And uh, I guess when we when we actually met, I couldn't understand a word he was saying. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? I was like, huh, huh, huh? And we went to this restaurant <laughs> and when he walked up the stairs, he was going to sit, there were like girls having lunch. And when he went to sit down, all the girls were like. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. But I didn't understand the word. I was one of those who was just like, oh my God. But you know, I have to act like you're not that much of a big deal. You just relax, you know, whatever. So I was playing it cool, but now I completely understand him. And he's so good at accents, you guys. Oh my gosh, we'll do a video <laughs> later, later, later. I interrupt this program to bring you guys my Christmas giveaway. If you have been following me on Instagram, you have seen some of the hints that I have dropped on my Instagram. It's about to be lit, people. It's about to be lit. So who went to the Apple store, people? I am giving away a brand new gold and white iPad, 32 gigs, and it's Wi-Fi compatible. I haven't even opened the box yet. Do you guys want me to open it so you guys can see what it looks like? I'll be very careful, I promise. Bam. So, gold, white, brand new. This is for you. Merry Christmas. And that's not all the tech I'm giving away, guys. I'm also giving away a SanDisk iExpand base. This is an iPhone backup. So this is the base, you guys. All you do is pop your phone on top of the base and it charges your iPhone and... On top of that, it backs up all your memory so you won't lose any photos or anything like that. How amazing is that? Up to 32 gigs on here. So, oh, you're welcome. My last techie thing that I'm going to give away, you guys, is a dual USB drive. This is up to 32 gigs and it plugs straight into iPad, iPhone, so you don't have to worry about cables and Dropboxing or Google Drive. You can just transfer straight from one to the other with one of these. You are very welcome. And what kind of beauty and lifestyle blogger would I be if I didn't give you guys some makeup and cleansing stuff and facial masks? So, I have got a whole bunch of Garnier products for you guys. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. We have got a charcoal anti-blackhead cleanser. We've got a Garnier Skin Active Botanical Balm. Their Rose Water toner this stuff is amazing and of course the tissue bomb mask these are my favorite and i'm giving them to you and i'm also giving you guys a Foreo luna play plus and the cleansers the day and the night cleanser so you can't say you aren't gonna have clean beautiful skin for 2018 okay i am also gonna give you guys some seven heaven mud masks and peels so you guys can go crazy with that on your spa days whenever you want to treat yourself. On top of that, we've got some revived body wash and lotion in lemongrass and ginger. This stuff smells heavenly and it will just make your baths just <laughs> that little bit more glamorous. And we have some makeup, last but not least. And these are portable eyeshadow and lipstick palettes. 
So that's it guys, that's the biggest giveaway that I have ever done and all you need to do to enter is be subscribed to my channel and you have to follow me on Instagram find this picture right here of all the goodies like it and tag free friends that's it that's all that's all you have to do and then i will choose a winner the competition runs from christmas eve so as soon as this video is out until the competition runs from christmas eve so today until new year's day i will announce the giveaway winner on my insta story so make sure that you are following me on there and check your dms on the first to see if you have won now back to regular programming you guys rooney has some stuff he wants to say where did you guys meet <laughs> okay guys it was so a warm summer <laughs> <laughs> was oh. it summer it was summer mm. was it summer yeah we met online he slid in the dms mm and basically we just had a conversation some guy messaged me talking about his wee wee oh, right, <laughs> and he was saying like oh yeah um let's play a game you know basically just trying to get me to give him my number so he could send me a dick pic and then be like oh can you come round and i'll i'll pay you i'll pay you if you can not touch it then <laughs> then i'll pay and i was like what? So I told him the whole story about it and I sent that to all my friends basically like just blacklisting this guy And he's like who does that like and then that's how we started a conversation um, And we didn't meet for a, quite a while actually we just just to clarify I'm not that guy <laughs> <laughs> We didn't meet for a while we were just chatting online and um, um Well, I gave him my number obviously and we chatted on whatsapp for a while and then I think that's pretty much it then one day he kind of invited me out we had a lot of I really hate this word but we had a lot of banter it was really funny he's really goofy and silly and so we just thought you know what let's just let's just meet up and when we did took me to the restaurant and then you know we chatted for a bit and yeah and then we had a couple dates and the rest is history and, and, the, re and the rest is history <laughs> to be cliche yeah we didn't date straight away, we would just like meet up and chill and like, you know, we, we stopped talking, didn't we? We mm. not really stopped talking, but like we just kind of disconnected. Well, we did. did we? Like completely? Oh yeah, I stopped talking to him. Okay, so here's what happened, right? Mr. Rooney, being the gorgeous guy that he is, obviously gets a lot of attention, right? So he feels like he can just get everything he wants. And I was like, no, you're not gonna get me <laughs> just yet not on your terms and then so yeah we kind of just kind of faded for a little bit um yeah, i just said yeah, let's just be friends you know and do you believe that anyway <laughs> um <laughs> and then i went to amsterdam was it amsterdam or, yeah, it was or germany amsterdam. it was amsterdam no germany germany i remember yeah i, remember I was in berlin um for work and i got this message yeah he messaged me out the bloom and just sent me a set of eyes you know that eyes emoji and I was just like, oh, so you are alive. And then he invited me on a date when I got back. And then pretty much from there. Basically, guys, we had a moment of, oh, we don't, we're not sure what we want to do yet. We don't know if we want to be with each other. And it was kind of getting to a point where we knew we wanted to be around each other and be with each other. But nobody wanted to say it first. And we were really quite stubborn about it. Mm. Okay. Mm. I just gave you lipstick. <laughs> That's another problem. My makeup runs all over him. Pretty. What were both your family slash friends reactions or opinions on you being an interracial couple? So when I showed my mum, Rooney, the first thing that she said is that he looks like Thor. And I told him. And then when I showed my aunt, she said he looks like Brad Pitt. And now the two of them had the argument back and forth about who he looks like more, whether it's Thor or Brad Pitt. So when he met my mum, he says, hi. I'm Thor. And then I was like, oh my god. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Thor. Uh, no, I mean Rooney. Like, oh my god. Anyway, that went down really well. She giggled and laughed her butt off. And then when he met my dad, it was just like, yeah, this is my my boyfriend. And my dad was just like, oh, hi, cool. And, you know, like really laid back. Um, it was it was different meeting his mum and dad, who I met for the first time this last couple days ago. Two days ago. 
yeah it was different meeting them because they don't live here they live in the Faroe Islands so it was like a whole thing they came over and it was more like formal we went to dinner and stuff but they were really really sweet the country's population is very small so we don't have a lot of other races there other than white so um, you'd expect maybe my parents maybe be a bit mm, surprised. I'm not sure what the right word is, but anyways, when they met her, you know, they immediately embraced her. My mom, first thing she said is, oh, welcome to the family, and kind of like hugged her. And that was the first time they actually saw her in person. Yeah, we spoke online, like through Skype before, and his mom doesn't really speak a lot of English, but she understands it. So when she met me and this immediately gave me this like massive hug and she held me for really long, it was so <laughs> sweet. And yeah, the same thing, my dad, he was very, you know, embracive. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay guys, so I'm British basically, as you guys know. Yes, okay, I am Caribbean, I'm St. Lucian as well, but I've lived here for forever. And we don't have the same racial problems um, it's not well it is there but it's not as bad as in America so we don't have that sort of oh, oh my god interracial couple like you walk down the street and everywhere you turn there's an interracial couple either a black woman with a white guy or a white guy with a black woman or Asian or Chinese whatever like it's such a melting pot in London that it's it's nobody looks at you funny nobody acts weird which is why we're kind of surprised by some of the comments that you guys leave like mm -hmm. and if there if we had to deal with like lots of backlash we'll get that online obviously you will get that mm -hmm. because it's a much bigger platform but in general in London that doesn't really exist although some people who live in London who have their own cultural differences when they come into London they bring that with them and they don't embrace the London lifestyle or the English lifestyle which is to be accepting of pretty much everyone and when these people come along they can be um, a bit you know sort of like oh why are you guys together or that kind of thing and look at you funny mainly from African men if I'm honest but you I'm not African and that doesn't bother me you can tell the story about the Uber driver <laughs> oh so <laughs> <laughs> I was leaving Rooney's house and ordered an Uber, right? The Uber driver saw me come out and he was like, oh. And then he saw Rooney come out and I gave Rooney a kiss and his face was like. <laughs> <laughs> and when I got in the cab, he started asking me all kinds of questions. It's like, uh, I don't mean to be rude or anything, but um, why did you choose him? And I was like, really? Really? <laughs> okay. And asking like loads of questions. I. He was very invasive and intrusive, and um, but he was never rude. He was just mm. genuinely curious. And, and then at the end, when I left, he was like, well, I hope you find a nice black guy. Mm. <laughs> Who says that? Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Is this your first interracial relationship? If so, how does it compare to your other relationships if there's a difference? Mm. This is my second one. Race itself doesn't really play into it for me. I just love her as a person. Um, for me, no. Not my first interracial relationship. In fact, for the last couple of years, I think I've pretty much only dated white guys. And that's not because I only like white guys. It's just because the environment that I'm in, the social and um career that i've chosen that's who i meet that kind of seems to be what i attract as well um and i guess the way that i'm i am my personality that's who i attract so if that's who i meet then that's kind of what happens right that's <laughs> how do you guys handle cultural differences when it comes to social events holidays plain everyday life well, I've definitely noticed that there are certain differences in how we were raised in the cultures that we were brought up in. Faroese culture, it's very common there to express your gratitude for something such as if you're invited to a family or friends for dinner, you say, oh, thank you very much, and you really express your gratitude. 
and when you see them the next time you even thank for a last time when they invite you over uh, for Raven however coming from her culture in St. Lucia it is a little bit different than that you can explain your okay side. so it's not that we don't say thank you because you made it sound like we're very rude and we just oh, don't yeah. say thank you that's not the case like no. if you so my St. Lucians who are in my comments if you're really family and you're really close right it's almost like it's a given like your thank you is included I would be really really offended if for example Amy and I are out and I get dinner for Amy and she says to me oh let me pay you back for the dinner I would get it would re it would make my skin boil because I'm not doing it for gratification I'm not doing it for you to say thank you to me I'm doing it because you're my friend like we're family you're part of me I don't need you to say thank you to me do you know what I'm trying to say I remember when I went back on holiday because I picked up those habits of saying thank you and da -da -da and all that kind of stuff and I went back home I needed a dollar or something to buy something on the side of the road and I asked my friend's mum oh I didn't have any change can you give me a dollar and she gave me the dollar and I, I, I gave it back to her like when I found change she got so mad at me <laughs> she's like you really think I need a dollar back from you, Raven? Really? <laughs> After all these years? So, yeah, that sort of thing. But in Rooney's culture, any any little thing like that, if you give it back and like it's really appreciated and it's like super, you know, that's their culture. So that was one thing. But the way we kind of deal with differences is to simply talk about them. Like we talk about everything. Our communication for us is a really like important thing. Um, and I don't think there's anything that he doesn't know about me, like not knowingly know about me. Do you know what I mean? We talk about everything. Almost too much, like too much. <laughs> yeah, we, we had some, some moments. You know, you have to though, if you're in a relationship, you need to know the kind of person that you're with and if they're willing to do things for you that others wouldn't. Because one day, what's gonna happen down the line is that you guys are gonna hit a road bump and then you're gonna be like, so you wouldn't do this and also this happened, I can't believe you didn't and you never talked about it and that's why you don't know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. I mean we don't know everything, everything. Obviously we've still got a lot of learning to do, we've only been together for however long but mm -hmm. we're getting there. Yeah, we're still um, learning every day about each other, it's something new almost. Yeah. Hmm.